This is the Scott McGlynn Show podcast. Please welcome Scott McGlynn. Welcome everyone, this is Scott McGlynn and this is my first ever podcast show and I'm joined with my good friend Polly James from Capital FM. Hello! Hi Polly, how are you? Scott, I'm good, Scott, I'm really proud of you. I've oh, got to say, you. you've got your, your first podcast up and running and um, are you excited? Very excited. It's taken a long time to get here but we're here and I can't wait. So, okay, I'm going to reverse the role a little bit here. I want to interview you about your, your Scott McGlynn show podcast. Is that okay? Let's go for it. Okay, because I want to know more about it. Yeah. I want to know more about your story and what all this is about and why you've done this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, a, yep. so that's when good. when did the first little thought about doing a podcast come into your brain and why? It came to my thought about last year. I've been working on it for a long time. You know me, I've been like going back and forth for a long time to try to get everything right. But um, eventually I've got it right now. But yeah, just like I just wanted to get it out there and just help people basically. And this is a good way for doing it. This is the thing with you though, Scott, because I've known you for a, a long time now and mm -hmm. your, your mantra seems to be that you want to help people in the uh, LGBT community. But why? Do Why you do you want to help people? I think because of my book and all that thing happened last year and stuff like that, I've got a good following and people and people looking for support. And I think this is the best way to do it, just to get real people on here, real stories, the good, the bad, the ugly, just to give as much advice as I can, you know, and just be honest. Like, I'm not a professional. I'm going to say that, but I got an opinion and I'm just going to give them and help them one way or another. And <laughs> of course, you've been through yeah. it as well, like you, about your book. Tell us a little bit about your book and, and why you wrote that. Um, I just like, like I said, it's just helping people that need that real story in their lives because you get all these celebrities and things like that has, you know, these stories and stuff. But it's, the, you know, they live in the celebrity world, which I've come from like literally working background so you, yeah five, so you know are you saying uh, like ce the celebrity the the gay celebrities in the world mm. they might have had an easy outing whereas you in the normal world no showbiz it was a bit harder and you want to tell your normal story because there's normal yeah. people out there yeah literally i wrote it that you all my words how it happened day by day and it's good because it's come from the heart you know and it's good to get up across to everyone because people's reactions and people's review it's been amazing and do you feel it's like obviously this is a podcast we're going to be talking a lot yes. <laughs> you're going to be talking a lot because you can talk mm -hmm. a lot i, I know. know you yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> is, is it is it yeah. good to talk yeah 100 percent. even you know yeah. if you've got i mean we want we don't want this to be overly serious but you know the lgbt community I think has a responsibility to help young people or even older people who want to come out and express themselves, right? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Like I met a guy, um, he was like 50s. He's been married all his life, got his children, everything. Can he come out two years ago? Yeah. And he's got a boyfriend. <laughs> so Jimmy, he's not an age yeah. limit on this. So um, and that's another great thing about it as well. So everyone can relate to it because even um, from the book about bullying and things like that, just for being who I was, women come to me and said, I can't believe that was still happening when I was in school in, yeah. like in the 70s. It's like, it's not, you know, and I think still to this day, it's still going on quite badly. Okay, so people um, who have just tuned in to the podcast, the Scott McGlynn Show podcast, uh, just just tell them a little bit about you. About me? Yes, about you. Okay, hi. So my name's Scott McGlynn. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically, uh, this is my first podcast. I'm going to be getting episodes out there every week and I'm just going to be talking to people around the world. So tell I'm me tell me about your life. Tell me about your boyfriend. Tell me when you came out because that's what people want to hear. Justin. Uh, Justin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my little Justin. Do you know, I come out on my mum's 50th birthday party. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is this is what the podcast officially. is all about. We, we want to know those details because that's what people are listening for because that's what people might aspire to do. Do you know what mm. I mean? I'm judging Polly that having read my book. <laughs> I'm just guessing no, no, I've read little snippets <laughs> of it that you've put that you've put on. No, um, but yeah. So um, I think my mum and dad always knew I was gay. Because yeah, because I'm a bit calm, you know, guys. <laughs> Which is fine. A little bit. Oh my fine. god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's me sitting here, my legs. 
um, and they, um, I met Justin at uh, the end of 2010. Mm-hmm. Oh, 2011, sorry. 2011. Oh, he's going to kill you. 2011. <laughs> um, just before New Year. And we went on a couple of couple of dates and things. And then my mum was having a massive 50th birthday party in March. And I brought him along. I told my dad because it was a surprise. It's a, it's a surprise birthday party. So I brought him along. And they loved him. Two months later, it was all of us on a big family holiday. Oh, my God. So, so that's it, how I officially, I think, come up. Because yeah. like, here's Justin. You know, I was in my... I was like 22, 23 at the time. Um... And they love him. And it's six yeah. years down the line. I absolutely love coming out with stories because I think there's such a massive build build up to doing it. Mm. And then the, the pressure's off straight away and you just kind of just think, oh, I should have done that ages ago. Yeah. Is that how you felt? Yeah, <laughs> I felt like I was living like a double life for yeah. a long time. Because like when I was going like gay club and things like that, I was saying to my mum and dad, I'm going out somewhere else that I wasn't, you know. Mm. And God forbid something happened to me. They were like, you yeah. have to be here, you know. So, yeah, um, yeah. But I, I made a massive group of friends on the on the gay scene and stuff, and I'm still chat to them now, now and again. So it's it's great. Like even now when we're like in nearly the thirties, <laughs> you know, like you still have that great relationship that I was when I was like seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite nice to have that. But when, then, when did you think you were gay, or know I you were gay? Knew. Like when I was in school, I first came out as bi. Okay. I think that was the easy option. Yeah. You know. But you never have you ever been attracted to women? Like you yeah. are with men. I had a girlfriend okay. when I was um, in your age. Oh, but school. was that a cover up or? I think oh, I mostly did it just to try and fit in. Yeah. Um, because you, fu- I me, mean, so. <laughs> 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 oh my god, you've kissed a girl. Yeah. No, seriously though, I mean, like, d- you know how like you look at Justin and you feel for Justin. Like, have you ever felt that for a woman, or do you just find them attractive because they're generally like a beautiful person? Um. Yeah, like just uh, yeah, no, no, no. I haven't, you're no. fully gay. Yeah, fully you're fully gay, fledged but like, gay. I, you know, I, <laughs> like, I, I like Sandra Bullock. Yeah, I, yeah, you like, wouldn't, she's my you wouldn't kick crush. her out of bed, would you? Okay, no, okay. No, like, would I, you turn for Sandra Bullock, bisexual, obviously? Maybe. No. <laughs> no. But like, you know, you have like, you know, celebrity crushes. Don't yeah, you? yeah. Like, I know a lot of girlfriends, fully straight. Yeah. Um, and they they said if I wouldn't check her out of bed. No, exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't check check around bed. Um, okay, so I mean, we're gonna find out more about you, obviously, throughout your uh, your podcast. And there's gonna be is how many are you you're gonna do one a week or two uh, one every two weeks or one a month? I'm gonna do yeah one every two weeks. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start off out, so I'm gonna go how it goes. Yeah, see how it goes. Okay, so um, if people have been listening to this now and they think they want to get involved uh they want to share their story they want to get something off their chest um they want some advice maybe your story is a little bit similar to scott's or like yours you know um how are they going to get in touch with you Uh, well (laughs) because we because we want you on the podcast yeah i've honestly and um i put it out there a couple of um weeks ago anyway people getting involved and stuff and the response has been amazing yeah so i'm um, i got a couple of great you're a very popular of, guy scott i know right you know, <laughs> you know, it works for it John. i know <laughs> um but on my twitter is the best way so uh, okay. the show is at the scott B- the scott mc show <laughs> are you sure about that yeah at the yeah. scott okay cool um anyway if you're downloading this off itunes or whatever app store you've got um all the details will be uh underneath and uh will yeah. it will tell you uh, how to get in touch um right let's start episode one of the podcast shall we scott yeah let's go for it okay for who it. who is the special guest for episode one i've got this guy who contacted us uh through twitter the other day uh, his name's luca and he wants some advice on some men on some men yeah oh i can't I'm wait ca- for this yeah, i'm, looking forward I'm to ju- this. i'm just gonna like st- you know just sit here and chill and listen to you guys because i i'm very interested in, in this as well okay yeah i mean i can't wait for this one. <laughs> so this is our first ever guest and welcome to the scott mcglynn show mr luca Hi, Scott McGling. Hello, hello. Welcome. To Thank the you. Show there. <laughs> I sound so nervous. Oh. Are you nervous? No. No, no good, you don't good, actually, good. you don't sound nervous. No, no. Uh, thank you so much for writing in. I'm really excited for what advice you might need. That's okay. Okay, let's go for it then. So what advice do you need? What can I give you? So my, my advice, Scott, would be basically, um, why do I always... Um, go for like straight guys or bi guys it's just crazy okay so i know what you mean because i've done this before 
So I think it comes down to things that we want, but we can't have. If mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and, and yeah, absolutely. It, yeah. yeah, so like it's a lot of expensive things that I live in my life that fortunately I can't get a Ferrari, like a Ferrari being one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't get one. <laughs> but honestly, though, you know, and it all depends, really. Like, what's your type? Like, what what's the kind of guy you you go for? Like someone who's like quite mu- muscly, like mm. masculine, goes to the gym, yeah, just like works out a lot. And yeah, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> but Luca, you know, you know, you say, you know, you've. I, you know, you're a, a gay man, yeah. but you f- but you really like these straight yeah, I have people. Slept with, I have slept with quite some straight guys and bi guys. Have you? Okay, yeah. but like, but but is that a problem for you? That like a, a real genuine problem that you see straight men and you just think? Yeah, because obviously, mm. like obviously, when I've been in relationships as well, but obviously I've never cheated when I've been in a relationship. But I've always thought, cool, he's fit. Do you know what I mean? Things like that, and obviously a bit more attracted to them than mm. I was but to my boyfriend. Yeah, I was going to say though, but Scott, like, surely there's nothing you can do about that. No, no, you can't. Like, it was like, what's the stage in your life right now? Is this stage like you want to settle down, have a relationship right now? I don't know because I've come out of like an over a year relationship. We split up in September, and um, mm. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship at the moment. But I just wanted a bit of advice. Um, obviously, like, why do I keep going for straight guys? Um, but obviously, yeah, what you said. Yeah, I know what you mean, but like, it's, it's like that thing in it is like you want rebound. something you can't have. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, <laughs> but honestly, um, you know, if it's the time in your life right now is working for you, like if you like just trying to hook up with these kind of guys, we're gonna put it yeah. out there. We we do. Um, that's fine. <laughs> but obviously, just remember when it comes to the relationship thing. You know, I like my partner. I've been with him for six years. And I just literally, he's a good looking guy, 11 to bits, he's got big blue eyes, I fall in love with him. But um, I just <laughs> love good. his personality, yeah. you know, his... I yeah, know, I go for personality as, as well quite It's a God. huge thing to me, he makes yeah, me laugh same. every single day, every yeah. single morning, you know. <laughs> Pretty much he makes me laugh every morning. I get up and he just makes me laugh. So it's a good thing to do have you, that, you know. Do you not like straight guys? I mean, I mean gay guys? You're attracted to straight guys. Does that mean you, that, that gay guys, you're, you're gay, well, but gay guys don't appeal to you and what they're like? No, I don't, I'm not that keen on gay guys. It's just weird. Like, I, I prefer straight guys or bi guys or, do you see what I mean? I sort of, and it's sort of like a thrill, like knowing they've got a girlfriend or whatever. It's so, it's so, so crazy. Maybe oh, you, like you maybe thing. you need a gay guy, but who's, who acts straight. Well, the, I was just about to come <laughs> yeah. on to my ex-boyfriend. He, when I met him, he was straight. Yeah. Basically, he, Obviously, he came out to his family when we got together and stuff and things like that. And um, Do you mind if I ask what happened with their relationship? What, with me and Scott? Not me, no, no. No, no, my I'm ex is checking. called Scott, obviously. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sort of kidding with you there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, we were together for like over a year and a half and I moved to work for EasyJet. Wasn't even that far, basically. We had a bit of a break. Mm. And then, yeah, we started off in September. And it basically wasn't meant to work out. I shouldn't have got back with him in the first place mm. so like, on Never mutual grounds it's kind of on mutual grounds you kind of uh, agreed to part ways yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. I know but I um, yeah, I think I, I think really what I can from what I'm hearing is like if you look when you're ready for a relationship just to go for that personality if it's like macho or camp yeah or whichever and if they make you laugh and smile I think that's most important. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, um, I do go for obviously personality as well. To me, I and um, to be honest, my gay dad is really shit. To be honest, so <laughs> I, I can't even tell a straight from a gay guy anymore. Yeah, I can't do. It. I, I, honestly, I won't even tell you. It could be the most much is like much a person I know. Yeah, and they're gay. <laughs> like, I, like I'm it? the worst. I I'm the worst. So yeah, I won't even. Yeah, my as well. When we to put cool. him up to you. Yeah. Won't be tough. Um, anything else you might be able to? Um, another question was also um, when you're with someone, why do they always look somewhere else? It's like they always try and get better. If that makes sense, like when you're with them, they don't delete the gay apps or whatever or grind or whatever. They still keep it and they check it out. But you're with that person. Do you see what I mean? Oh mm. my god! Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to say this. I'm going to say the how I would say in real life. I fucking yeah. hate those apps. <laughs> Honestly, so, yeah. I. I, I met just I, I okay, I'm gonna tell you a bit about me. So I did meet Justin on a dating website, but it was plenty of fish. God, I'm you on know, that at the moment. You know, yeah, so is that puff? Yeah. Is that like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. P-O-F. <laughs> uh, with a little fish. <laughs> yeah. I call it fish fail fails. 
song like that. Plenty yeah. of fails. Plenty yeah. Of, <laughs> oh, no, honestly, guy, honestly, and I'm, this is swear down. I met Justin. He was the first person I spoke on there. He was my first date, and I'm with him six yeah. years no later. No way. Honestly, and not people, not people like know that. But I have never been into grinder, and yeah, when I'm I was, quite into grinder. You no, know, it's addictive. Know. It's really addictive. Yeah, it's but addictive. is it is it addictive when you're with someone though? No, when I'm with someone, you two, I literally delete all apps. It's Good. literally like that is you're with that person. Why do you need to go and look for a shag when you've got that person? Hmm. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I don't get it. I don't know why gay people do that. I know, and like um. Like I said, it I really think... frustrates me when I see people on there that have got like boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's no need for it whatsoever. So like, if obviously you don't respect your decision to say you've got to get rid of that app, then you know. Yeah. You, I think get it, rid. It's an, as well as I think you know what they're looking for on there as well. You know, yeah. you know why they've got it. Well, and yeah, no obviously need. they want to cheat on you and I, I ain't having that. Well, no. it's... I, Obviously, I went through my ex's phone. I saw he had messages on his phone. Was I out of order going through his phone or not? Well, no, because obviously I saw messages that he cheated on me hey, as well. Hey, if you go looking, mm. you will find, my friend. Yeah, well, this definitely, is it, yeah. yeah. And as well, you know, I don't think, as a straight person now, I don't think it's just the gay community that, that you say no. are really bad at it because, yeah. you know, as straight people, we have Tinder and I'm sure gay people go on it or whatever. But, mm. you know, there are guys that... I, mean, I think that just works as a as two people just being in love if you're cheating on someone or going on whether it's grinder or tinder or mm. plenty of fish when you're with someone whether it be a man or woman it's, damn it, right out of order, it's just yeah. not right it's that's yeah. right from wrong isn't it yeah. yeah like when i was like tinder wasn't out though when i was dating that's the new thing right tinder. yeah tinder and yeah grinder, grinder. yeah they be, but they are they're not very safe are they really no, no, and I and honestly, I've um, read a couple of things in the press about these hookup uh, apps, you know, and people's like getting robbed and stuff like that. And yeah, it's, it's well, someone horrific. Down, someone down the road from me, like this guy met this um, straight guy off Grinder, and apparently he he stabbed him. And this is literally <gasps> oh like, and I live in like really like really nice area. It's really quiet and stuff, and nothing ever happens like that. And obviously, this guy was obviously seeing this older guy who's dating that off Grinder. And obviously meeting up with him to pay his drug debt. So oh, my oh my god! See, it's, it's, yeah. See these things like this. This worries me. Honestly. I kind of feel that like I don't know if I'm right or wrong in saying this, but is plenty of fish a bit more highly respected and regarded yeah. than Grinder and yeah. Tinder? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So but, but mm. people don't even send you like don't even send you a face picture. Of. I'm crying to you too. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know mine. that you've <laughs> been in a relationship for a while, Scott, and... Yeah, yeah. And, Luca, you know, if you did get with someone now again... Yeah. And, you know, you're worried about this app situation... Yeah, I'm paranoid now. Would, you, would like, why... Would you feel comfortable in just saying, like, look, if I'm going to be with you, you know, exclusively, you need to delete 100%, the app? yeah. Yeah. 100%, yeah. And if they're like no, then I'm sorry. Yeah, and bye if bye. and if they're no, bye, and I think bye, I, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. absolutely. And I would say exactly the same to a, a bloke if I if if I was in your shoes. Yeah, yeah. I would do that. like you know what like um, Puff has like to quote. <laughs> um, they <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah, you know, like they actually <laughs> like to know people's successful stories. So I mean, Justin Summer does, ah. you know, you know, and then I like, just say, and then I like, just. Didn't hear anything else. <laughs> but I just think whatever. with that puff as well, it's a bit like I think it's a lot of conversation safer. skills. They're just high. Well, that's boring. I'm not even going to reply because it doesn't take you know five minutes out of your time to actually write a bit of a longer sentence and just high. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Here's a, here's a question for you, Scott. And um, oh. no, no, seriously, oh, Luca. Right. I bet you, I bet you um, can relate to this in some sort of way. But Scott, <laughs> do you ever feel tempted to go on to these like grinder apps just to see? Uh, you know <laughs> because I tell you, because I'm in a relationship, but when one of my friends is on Tinder and I love just swiping on her Tinder yeah. just because yeah, it's like yeah, a bit it's, of a it's laugh. It's addictive, mm. isn't it? No, you're totally against but it. So, no, but someone told me though that Tinder is like connected to your Facebook. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> so, yeah. and this is yeah. what I've heard. So like, so I haven't been on it, but you know, this one we're hearing. So, like, I think, like, if I did do it on Tinder anyway, that a lot of my friends might pop up. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, they you know, because it's all your local area and yeah. stuff. But there's um, always someone, isn't there, in the gay world that knows someone that you know? Yeah, yeah. Like I, um, 
I don't go on the gay scene anymore, to be honest, but I I know what you mean. I don't like it either. Yeah, like, I, you know, I used to be out there every Wednesday, every Friday, every Saturday. Every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm both old. And when you get in a relationship, you know, you must know this, that you do like to just do the relationship things. Yeah, like go out and, yeah, stay and have dinner and shit. Yeah, and, you know, it's just it's quite nice. Just find someone that will enjoy the same hobbies as you do like mean but it's really hard to find these days it really is like tell me something that you love i love going on holiday um I oh yeah you're you work for easy jet you've got two yeah. and one um but you know even someone because i know easy jet like it's a huge company right mm. so is there anyone else is like single and is like you know gay and everything is like in the same area as you 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 know because you've got the same job so obviously it's a very intense job because you weigh a lot and work yeah i'm not working for easy anymore oh you're not no i finished i've been a holiday rep as well in spain so yeah i've done lots of stuff so what what are you doing right now i just work in an office all right all right okay so it's bit but that's a bit better for your social life right yeah absolutely Yeah. yeah but um like whoever you meet you know and the thing I like about Plenty of Fish, like what I recommend, because my memory is really bad, you know, that um, I think it's the interests um, as well. I mean, Justin, we're massive animal lovers and we're big supporters, you see. And, yeah. Um, and dogs and stuff. And that itself is just a bonding thing. So we used to go to pets our home on dates, you know, just to look with <laughs> the rabbits and the little things. You know, but that I wasn't. That. Have you got like a chihuahua? Chihuahua got five dogs. Five. That got is five. so cute. I've got, um, I'll let you know my breeds. I've got two standard poodles. <laughs> I've got a Shih Tzu. I've got a Rottweiler. <laughs> but I, and I do have a Chihuahua cross a toy poodle. Cool. She's a little spit dryer. Isn't is. that just relationship goals? Going on a date to pets at home? Yeah, because Seriously. that's when we both live, right? I know. So that's one thing that's very important. I think just find something you... Like, I We both love eating out as well. So yeah, that's I love out dinner. Yeah, I love it. And, and our first date was um, an Italian restaurant. It was a nice little, just one restaurant on its own. It was very cute, like in the alley, you know. Um, <laughs> it, it was really cute, though, because, like, you know, it was, like, very locally, and the other owners were Italian, you know, and they were very looked after people, like, on your dates and wines and top of earth and that kind of stuff and candle lit. And it's very romantic for the first one. Yeah, um, it sounds really good. But, um, yeah, so that's what I pretty much... Would say like you know, you know, I did say I'm not a massive professional, but I can give you my. I hope I helped you out. That'd be great. Thank this, you. Um, I hope you. Well, I hope you meet someone. Thank you. That, I don't um, know, hopefully 2017 will be my year. But yeah, don't worry. We're only a couple of weeks in. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> we're not. We're not far in yet. Cool. You know. So um, thank you so much for coming on though. That's that's great. Thank you for your help, Scott. You're welcome. Have a good evening. And you. Bye now. Take care. Bye. 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 Oh, so there we go. Your first uh, guest on the Scott McGlynn Show podcast. Oh, how lush was he? He was very nice. Oh, I love him. You just want to give him a hug? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little hug. Um, but I really hope he finds the perfect guy. Oh, I hope so. But um, yeah, as we were saying, you know, if you want advice or maybe um, you just want someone to talk to, maybe you don't want help or advice, but you know, you've got no one else to talk to, but you just want to get these things off your chest, then give um, Scott a call because he wants to hear from you. Yeah, definitely. Just email in or tweet in anything, um, any social media. <laughs> just get <laughs> You're on, on it. it all. Get on it. Get on it. <laughs> um, I look forward to uh, having more guests on and I've got a couple of excited ones lined up. So uh, thank you so much, Polly, for joining with me today. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Hen. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you will find Polly on every intro of these podcasts because I pinched her voice <laughs> a couple of seconds. That's fine, Hen. Yeah, we love it, right? I'll probably, I'll probably just be hanging with you in the studio for the next couple of podcasts, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. Um, but thanks, guys. And um, subscribe and just check out episode two coming very soon. Thank you for listening to the Scott McGlynn Show podcast. Please subscribe.